Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The Lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up. Uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Always in the light. Hello. 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 All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, hell. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. What? Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Cynthia Weaver worked hard, following her obsessive rituals, sometimes fighting them, always giving in to them in the end. She haunted the halls of Bright Falls' abandoned power plant. She marked her caches with light-sensitive paint that could only be seen by eyes that had been touched by darkness and saved by light like she'd been. She was preparing defenses and supply lines for the war she knew would come. The war between the forces of light and darkness. For it to be free, the dark presence needed the writer to finish the story. Again and again, the story let it get frustratingly close to the writer without letting it capture him. It was bound by the events depicted in the manuscript, but it could pursue the writer indirectly, put others on the task and stop those who would help him. It took over everything in its path, made them its puppets, and sent them after Alan Wake. Alice had screamed until she had no voice left to scream. Around her, the darkness was alive. It was cold and wet and malevolent and without end. She was a prisoner, trapped in the dark place. The terror would have burned her mind out, but one thing made her hang on. She could sense Alan in the dark. She could hear him. She could see the words he was writing as flickering shadows. He sensed her too. He was trying to work his way to her. Barry was in his element, making calls, making things happen, even if he didn't entirely know what those things were. He wouldn't let the hot sheriff chick down. Even if every noise he heard from outside, and he heard plenty, made him jump. He had only paused to text Al a message, told him to hurry up. Suddenly, Barry froze in mid-dial. A window broke somewhere in the building, and then the lights went out. Barry got back to his feet inside the Bright Falls General Store and dusted himself off. 
Right next to the cans of baked beans was a locked case filled with flare guns, and yet here was a conveniently placed barrel of crowbars. Barry's smile widened as he realized that this was the classic movie scene where the hero had to gear up and arm himself to the teeth. Barry threw himself into the role. Barry got back to his feet instantly. The story I had written in the cabin had come true. Touched by the dark presence, I had written a horror story, but the end was still missing. The story was incomplete, and the last unfinished page of the manuscript still sat in the typewriter in the cabin study. If I could get back there, if I could read the page, then I could write my own ending to this story and save Alice. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years, and now only wanted to rest. Again. Uh, I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, Al, but we're stuck here. Night, They're not yeah, gonna... Interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis, huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> 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 Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. Check. 
She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on, let's get back to your friend. Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No! We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. Uh, hello, Mr. Breaker. This is Barry Wheeler. Yeah, I know it's late, but listen, the sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you something. She says night springs, okay? So I guess she... Yes, sir. Okay, I... No, uh, she's okay. She's just busy, so she asked me to... Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I'm a literary agent, sir. I'm just helping her out because she's busy right now. Well, the one you'd most likely be familiar with is Alan Wake. You're kidding. Well, I'm glad to hear that, sir. I'll tell Al you said that. That's really nice. But listen, I really need to make some more calls here. Uh, you got the message, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, thanks, sir. Bye now. Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? <sighs> Hey, Sheriff, your password, Night Springs? What's that all about? 
It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! Ah, shit! That's smart! Okay, stick to it. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. The air smelled of fish. This was Bright Falls industrial area. There was probably a cannery nearby.
I'm gonna want explanations, you know. For example, what the hell happened to Rose? She's seriously messed up now. The same thing I think happened to me after I arrived. During this week you can't remember? Oh, I remember now. my back, wait. It's an ambush.
Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? The message was from Barry. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Oh, God! Oh, God! Wake. He's okay. The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back.
We can make it through the bookstore. Hey, Wheeler should be waiting people? for us in the Keep backyard. Get the hell down or I'll call the sheriff. Oh, hi, Doc. I've got it. Don't worry about it. Sarah, about time somebody showed up. All the shooting in the air is idiotic. One of these days, they'll kill somebody. And over deer fest. I know. Go back to bed. He's got a point, Wake. Look, this town can't take this. They're really taking advantage of your presence here, Wake. I heard they're selling a lot of your Alex Casey books. Right now, I'm not a big fan of my own writing. I don't see Barry. Look, wait, maybe that's him. That's the way to the chopper. to give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Uh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break.
I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Ugh, I told him to get it fixed. Here they come. Let's take a break. Okay, it's open. Let's go, Wake. Wow. We keep them lit all night long on the night before Deer Fest. Why? Well, it's tradition. Almost there. We'll have to go through the basement to get to the parking lot. Yeah, there's no way going through the crypt will turn out to be a bad idea. Saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A tough audience. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Bright Falls General Store is now my favorite place in the entire world. See this headlamp? It's like a superpower. I can just look at one of those things and they die. It's my flaming eye of Mordor. I wish I didn't say that. Yeah. Hey, I want a headlamp. Last one. Bastard. school bus at your head and you're about to take a helicopter ride with someone who may or may not have a pilot's license or clear for departure
never gonna get used to this. The helicopter's just up ahead. I'll need a while to prep for takeoff. Don't take too long. I wanna get out of here.